Hey, what is up guys? Today we're going to be creating our four main assets for the game. So this is our player, this is our towers, this is our boss, and these are our enemies. So we're going to be creating those prefabs right now in this episode, also assigning them some material, and we're also adding a little touch of tune shading at the end, if you like. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I will create is a folder called Artwork and then I will proceed with creating more folders, so let's go ahead and create a script folder and a prefab folder and lastly a scene folder. Okay, now that we got these out of the way we can start by creating our prefab, so um, what we're going to be using for pretty much all the gameplay First of the player itself, which is going to be a cube. So I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to call this guy player. Make sure you remove the box collider. I won't need that. Now we'll drag and drop this right on top of the prefab folder. Okay. Next one is going to be the sphere. Sphere is also going to be used as a enemy. So I'm going to rename the sphere for enemy. Remove the sphere collider and I'm simply going to drag and drop this in the prefab folder again. Okay, and then a capsule. Capsule are going to be the bosses, so I'll call this guy boss. And then I will remove the capsule collider again, drag and drop this in the prefab folder, and finally I'm going to create a let's say another cube. And this cube, however, is going to have a uh, scaling of 2 in Y, like this. Rename this for Tower, and I'm going to drag and drop this in the prefab folder. And we've got our four guys over here. Those are the prefabs we're going to be using pretty much for the whole game. So that's all we need to get started. Um, but before we actually go and start scripting, I would like to put some colors in that just so we can have some color when we start uh, moving stuff around. So, in artwork, I am going to create another folder called material, and in there, I will create a new material that I'm going to call player. Then I'm going to create another material that will be called a boss, and again for enemy, and one more time for the towers. Okay, so um, what I felt like doing is I will be taking some cold colors for the player and allies. So for the player and tower, it's going to be cold colors. And for the enemy and boss, it's going to be some warm colors. So I'm going to go ahead and just assign the albedo of these textures. So this is the boss. It's going to be red. Drag and drop this on top of the boss. All right, so I went ahead and I modified a little bit of the colors. And now you can tell that these are the allies and these are the enemies. And before I get started with the scripting, I would like to import some assets in here. So I'll go ahead and hit Asset, Import Package, and I'm going to import some effects. Um, I'm going to uncheck everything and then go to the last folder of effects, and I will be grabbing the tone shading shaders. Just so it looks a little bit more, um, I guess complex because right now they're plain they're like they're dull so I'll go ahead and change the shader to tune lit outline for every single of these and we're, we're gonna have some uh, tune shading going on all right so lit outline this already looks a little bit more complicated um, and also at the very end when we have our full level it's going to look a little bit better with the lights because right now the directional light makes it so it's kinda weird but with some point lights in the level it's going to look just great alright so lastly I will grab a plane put at the origin again and scale it up just a little bit and this is going to be our gym this is where we're going to be testing pretty much everything before we start creating our levels so I'm gonna move my stuff around just like this just make sure I have everything in sight, basically. So, um, yeah, this is it. Make sure you save this. So, Control S, go in the scene folder. Call this gym for now because this is what we're going to be using to test out stuff. 
And yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. So I will see you in the next episode when we start coding the movement of our player.